Meteorologists call those days when temperature, humidity, and wind conditions combine to accelerate the spread of a wildfire, fire weather days. In this video, we shall see that in wildfire prone regions, climate change has been causing the number of fire weather days to increase. Scientists at the nonprofit group Climate Central recently published a report outlining the shift in wildfire conditions in the United States over the past 50 years. They reported their results in terms of the increase or decrease in fire weather days in various parts of the country. While their results are specific to the lower 48 United States, similar shifts have been happening in other wildfire prone regions of the planet. To start, we need to understand what is meant by a fire weather day. The United States Weather Bureau defines a fire weather day as follows. A fire weather day alert is issued for the area covered by a local official weather station whenever three conditions are simultaneously met or exceeded for a two hour period. The relative humidity must be at least 5% above a regional threshold value that depends on the type of fuel and regional weather conditions. The local temperature must be 45 degrees Fahrenheit or higher in the winter, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the spring and fall, and 55 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer or higher. The local wind speed must be 15 miles per hour or higher. When all three conditions are met, then the probability is high for explosive wildfire growth that will be difficult or nearly impossible to contain. The recent wildfires in the Texas Panhandle are a good example of this type of wildfire behavior. The vegetation in the area is largely grassland that had been dried out by persistent drought conditions and unseasonably warm temperatures driven at least in part by climate change. The area is sparsely populated with primary fire protection being provided by scattered local volunteer fire departments. The largest of these fires the Smokehouse Creek Fire was ignited on a day when fire weather day conditions were in effect and the fire was driven by persistent high winds. Local firefighting resources were overwhelmed by this fire as well as several smaller wildfires in the Panhandle region. By the time mutual aid firefighting resources could respond, the Smokehouse Creek Fire had become impossible to contain, eventually growing into the largest wildfire ever in Texas and the second largest wildfire ever in the United States. As one firefighter exclaimed, we couldn't get around it. This figure from the Climate Central report shows how the three criteria for fire weather days have changed in the 48 contiguous United States over the past 50 years. Dryness as, a, as measured by relative humidity has increased substantially in the western half of the lower 48, while temperature has increased moderately over much of the lower 48. Wind speed conditions have increased mainly in the southern half of the lower 48 and have decreased elsewhere in the lower 48. The reason for the decrease in wind speeds is believed to be the result of in increasing ocean temperatures, which have reduced atmospheric pressure differences between the ocean and land areas. This table from the Climate Central report shows that the largest changes in the regional number of fire weather days over the past 50 years have been in the western climate regions with the Southwest region leading the pack with 37 additional fire weather days per year, and the Western region close behind with 23 additional fire weather days per year. 
These two regions also account for more than 9.4 million households located in the wildland urban interface, which contributes significantly to fire protection costs and difficulty. This table, which also is from the Climate Central report, shows that smaller areas within the larger climate regions have experienced extreme increases in number of fire weather days over the past 50 years. Parts of California, New Mexico, and Texas now have approximately two more months worth of fire weather days and parts of Arizona and Colorado are not far behind with between 44 and 55 more fire weather days per year. To summarize, the impact of climate change on wildfire behavior has grown considerably over the past 50 years. This has proven to be both costly and dangerous, as more resources have had to be devoted to wildland firefighting and protection. Fire insurance has become more difficult and more costly to obtain. Wildfires have become more numerous and more dangerous, and more households have been put at risk either directly by fire behavior or by the smoke generated by these wildfires that can spread over large areas. Another impact of the increasing number of fire weather days has been a reduction in the number of days when controlled burns can be carried out to reduce the danger in the wildland urban interface. I hope that you have found this video informative and helpful and that you will keep it in mind when you are choosing where to locate. Thanks again for watching.